Oh, it just has like a, um, uh, like a, there's like a deer, is the, a talking deer is the default picture. And I was like, what? Okay. I, I don't know what happened, but I'll have to troubleshoot this later. So I'll, re I'll refund your points. I don't know where Wizard Dennis is gone. He's on vacation right now. I'll have to figure that out. Okay, cogs, weapon, or boost? Uh, let's get cogs. Work on that permanent progression, I figure. Yeah, it does stack. Guys, look at the shield. Plus 24. It said it gives 8. So that means we, we've stacked 3 of the shields. So this actually gives you the closest thing I've seen in this game so far to sustain. Is the fact that you can stack up uh, shields. Cogs. Um, nom, 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 nom. Took a few hits there. Encrypted memory, refilling crystallize. That sounds like it heals when you crystallize. Backstabs do more damage to goo, kills treasure. Let's get uh, the mark thing. Nice. I was hoping to find this. So I purposefully did not use my heals until this moment because I was hoping that uh, this pool thing would be here. So I still have all my potions. That's good. What do we got here? Rush trinkets. Uh, death orb. Katars. Blade storm. Um, death orb I can fire off at range. So I'll grab that. And send stuff back to the Ark. All right. I'm here. You can start playing it now. Thank you, Jericho. We've been watching the trailer on repeat while we waited on you. Kept your seat warm, too. Come on and slam um, and welcome to Japan, kids. I don't get what the game loop is here. It's sand, it's a, sand, it's a roguelike. So basically, the, the game loop is try to get better so that you can get further. And if you die, you start over, but you do get a little bit stronger each time. There is some per, uh, permanent progression. But it's basically a get good to the point where you can uh, get further than you got before. Oh my gosh. That last shot that missed. Complete crystallize unlocked.
starting to get a pretty decent feel for the beat bow. Let's do this one. Got some dust. And get Duelist. Dashes activate focus, plus 60% for one hit. Two marks merge into a stronger one that does plus 50% damage stackable as a team. Um, so right now I have the ability to mark one target every three seconds, but if there's only one target on the field, then this is never gonna happen. So I'll take Duelist. Uh, chat, what are y'all feeling about Elden Ring DLC going into the new game nominations? Uh, I'll be honest, Smashy, I've never paid any attention to who wins stuff like Game of the Year and stuff like that, so part of me just really, really does not care. But for the sake of those who do care about that, then I feel like they should probably make a separate category, you know? Like, you know, you, you can have, like, you know, uh, Game of the Year and DLC of the Year, you know, stuff like that. I feel like the fair thing in that regard would be just to have a separate category. Phew! Thanks. Any longer and someone could have served me up as hot frog's legs. The frog faints at the thought. Use the rescue fish to bring the frog back to the ark. No. Blade Storm. Uh, no, don't need that. BG3 was the only time I took interest in it. BG3 won all the awards. Alright, send that stuff back. Oh my gosh, could not get out of that. Uh, I always felt the Game Awards is more for the companies and devs than the players anyway. This year's Game of the Year is a joke. There's going to be judges and the fan votes if only we 10% of the vote. Um, I mean, there have been a lot of good games that came out this year, like, in general. Like, I'm, I'm trying to think... Oh gosh, I play so many games that are actually old games, you know? Like, I just finished Yakuza 0. So I'm trying to remember what games I've played this year that actually came out this year. Um, Black Myth Wukong was one. What are what are the other games I've played this year that came out this year? Veilguard, no. <laughs> I'm sorry, Veilguard. No, no, no you, 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 you do not pass go. You do not collect $200. Uh, what uh, what else have I played this year that came out this year? Uh, expansion is gonna be amazing, but uh, not for new games. They can be nominated for Game of the Year. Yeah, Warhammer Three. Oh, uh, the um, uh, Space Marine Two. Space Marine Two was really good. Uh, Hell Divers was Hell Divers this year. Crit damage, plus 10%, shells looted, uh, shells. Yeah, Space Marine was really good. I would have no complaints if Space Marine won some stuff. Helldivers was last year, okay, okay. Wait, what was that? That's higher level than my current one.
Ow! That's almost a hundred DPS higher than my heavy blade. Was Ragnarok? Was Ragnarok last year? Ragnarok was out on console like a long while ago, and it just came out on PC this year, which is why I just got to it. So Ragnar Ragnarok had been out on console for a while. All right, here we go. Hey, Zarek. Uh, give me just a minute, buddy. Good. No, I couldn't kill the barrel fast enough. Ah, uh, well that's the furthest I've been. We got that thing down to like 30% and I'm on our third try on it. First try we got one shot, second try we got it almost half. That try we got it down to like a third. Huh, that was so good though. Yeah, yeah, that, that felt pretty good. Uh, so Noxy, you mentioned trouble with a shockwave. Um, for, definitely it seems like kill the barrel as fast as possible is part of the solution to that. Um, okay, let me go back over to the chat. Um, Zarek says, hey, Mock, quick question. Which, in your opinion, would be a good solo player class to get even through the game and the expansions? I've been having a really hard time with different classes and elite specs. My Thief is my most progressed character story-wise. Hey, Zarek. Uh, first off, for soloing, there is a build. Uh, it's called Pistol Pistol Unload, or PP Unload for short. I'm not making that up. Um that is on the webpage I just linked in the chat, that is really good at open world. There's a trait you can take that makes it um, lifesteal, and then you can just run around and do stupid damage from range. So your, your thief absolutely has options if you want. Uh, if you want to be like the king of soloing an open world, Mechanist of Engineer, Mirage of Mesmer both come to mind, but there's, there's a lot. Reaper on Necromancer, like there are a lot of options. Um, have you played Dead Cells before? I have, yes. Uh, it has great Twitch integration. We've done it many times on stream. Uh, Muck, are you planning on playing Towers of Aghazba? I have not heard of that one. Uh, so I can only say maybe right now, because I, I don't know what that one is. Um, 724k reviews in two months, while Elden Ring has 719k reviews in two years. I'd say that is 100% rigged. Wait, what now? Uh, oh, are you talking about Black Myth Wukong? Um... I I don't know anything about that topic. All I'll say is my personal enjoyment of both the Elden Ring DLC and Black Myth Wukong was they were both exceptional games. I, I freaking loved both of them, right? Uh, but as far as, like, if you're going to make a, a, an, an awards show for this, like, I don't, I don't care about the awards. I just care about the product, right? And in my opinion, I've enjoyed both of those products. But 
if we're trying to make the developers happy and stuff like that, then I think DLCs should probably be a separate category from standalone games. That's my thoughts on that. Uh, I was wrong, Helldivers 2 was this year, been a long year for games. Uh, you missed Noxy noting it, it earlier we did this year. Uh, I want to try Thief. Which open world build would you recommend? Hey, Kanafu. I don't have a lot of experience on Thief. My, uh, It's not one of my main classes. However, on the webpage I'm linking in chat right now, there is a build near the top of it that is um, a, a like one button thief that does like almost 30k DPS. There's a trait you can take that gives it life stealing. That build with that trait is incredibly easy for anything open world. Uh, and you also have the option of running it as dead eye, which gives quickness as well. But uh, yeah, very very chill open world, you know, shoot 'em up build. Uh, let's see, Epperin says in the Sentinels factory. By chance, she didn't have a scratch. Yes, just hypoglycemia. Ugh, where am I? Oh, it's the frog I rescued. One of my grunts brought you back to our island while you were unconscious. You are no longer in danger. Who are you? What were you doing out there? I'm Sigourney. I study the vortex, but it looks like field work doesn't suit me. Indeed, the Sentinel's factory doesn't seem like a good place to observe a vortex. Think again. I've been analyzing this phenomenon for a while. It's the first time I've managed to get so close to the scent. But, wait. There's hardly any wind here. That means the island has yet to feel the pull of the vortex? That's completely crazy. That could mean this is the last island outside the vortex. I need to study this place, the weather, the vortex, it's fantastic. No, wait, this is very serious because this island may soon be absorbed. I've observed this phenomenon several times. At first, your island will start getting gusts. Then they will intensify and they will get stronger and stronger until the island is eventually sucked in. Then you will join the great orbital spiral of the vortex. But that's just the beginning of the troubles. You're just being crashed into by other islets. If Even if that doesn't happen, your island will start to break apart. It will shatter into numerous pieces. Ah, worse sentinels from neighboring islets will start invading and tear you to shreds. And if you're not already dead, you'll end up in the center of the vortex. I don't know what happens in there, though. Mmm, that's troubling. Well, hello there. Are you sure that I'm certain? Well... Very well. You can stay here. We will help you with your research. Thank you. I'm sure that by joining forces, we could find a way to... BS. The vortex pulls in a straight line. What? Enough talking. Everyone, back to your posts. Sigourney, follow me. I'll show you where you can settle in. Hmm, how annoying. I'm running out of axolotls. All right. So, we got further with the bat than the pangolin. So, let's try the basilisk and see if the basilisk is better than the bat. Buggy, okay, planning on tackling Wing 8 Tuesday. I want to go in blind to my static, so I'm hoping to avoid seeing spoilers. Probably not. My plans for Tuesday is I'm, I'm streaming all day, and thing is, okay, when we go into the new raid or the new convergence, it's going to basically just be in the, like, at the end of the new story, right? I don't want to suddenly be there and maybe have some, like, the sword Excalibur and not know how, I got, how we got there, right? So I'm going to do the new story first. After that, Probably the new Convergence, because that'll be easily pugged, slash work on the new Legendary Spear. I will be trying to get the new raid done, but I don't know that I'll get to it on Tuesday. If I do, it'll probably be late Tuesday. I've thought about it carefully. I think Sigourney's right. The Ark's absorption is inevitable. You should check if she needs assistance. We must help her uncover the secret of the damn Vortex. Otherwise, all our efforts will be in vain. Um... Hmm, let's get the recycling thing. Memory database updated. Oh, refill and crystallize doesn't refill health, it refills cooldowns. Hmm. Let's get ninja stars. Damage based on distance inflicts criticals when used at max range. Oh, these ninja stars are huge. These are like those ones in Naruto. Two, three, four, five. One, two. Whoa, one, two, three. Oh, that's cool. Okay. All right. Let's see. Are they actually new drops or repeats? 
Uh, new drops, Jinxie. It's a lot of different uh, gem store stuff related to Christmas. Um, so a lot of people are actually excited about it because it's uh, stuff that's usually on the gem store. Let's see, what was the thing? Uh, damage based on distance inflicts criticals when used at max range. Okay, so I want to be further. Because you could also say that a shotgun does damage based on distance, but it wants the shorter... It wants you to be as sh short a distance as possible. Uh, no, I'm not gonna pay health for that. Uh, wait, where do I go? Oh, over here, okay. Uh, that'd be so good to primary and then blast with deadbolt on uh, altar. Yeah, that's what we're gonna try. Boost. See, it always crits at max range, so let's get criticals. I posted a trailer of Towers of Oxaba and Cool Clips in the vids on Discord channel. Okay, cool. I'll check that out later on. Thanks, Smashy. Yeah, I'm currently just not familiar with it. Oh, I got a crazy question for you guys. So there was a um, one of our higher tier patrons, the ones that can uh, hijack a stream uh, one day a month. Uh, they they came to me today, and they were like, "Hey, I've got a list of games I would love to see you try. Uh, if you'll just pick one of these, I'll be I'll be happy." And I was like, "Okay." So I looked at the list, and um, I ended up picking um, Backpack Battles, which looked really intriguing. Uh, however, another one on the list was Cuphead. And I'm, I'm very familiar with what Cuphead is, but I've never played it. And I know uh, people would probably like to see me play it because it would be pain. However, 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 my question, the thing that we did not know the answer to is how's Cuphead for keyboard and mouse? Because y'all know I, I abhor controllers. And we couldn't find an answer to that with a quick Google search, so that's why I didn't pick that. I'm wondering if any of y'all know. Burn Nova Encrypted Memory. Deal 250 base damage. If, or wait, for every 250 base damage you deal, spawn a scythe. Your first hit against target does more damage. Kills heal you. Yeah, I'm gonna take that. Uh, I want to hear the story, but add time. Uh, everything you said in the last 36, will you say it again? Uh, I said, does anyone know if Cuphead works well on keyboard and mouse? That was the that was the end point of that. Bomb. I think I tried it, and I think yes. I'm not sure about hold down the finger gun. It's been a while. 
Hmm. Hmm. I don't need more health. My health is full, so I'll go this way. Oh my god, what? He hit me one time. For 85 damage. Max health is 100, by the way. Holy crap. Let's see if I can get past the tutorial of Cuphead. I don't know. I have done game reviews, so that makes me kind of a game journalist. So, you know, that I might not be able to. Crap, messed up. Dust. Gift. Uh, first hit, 120. It saves you from death one time. Let's take that. I haven't found the healing pond yet, so I'm gonna hold off on using my last potion. Oh, as soon as I said it. As soon as I said it. Oh, yes. Mm. There we go. Imagine if I'd used that potion and then found that pond. I would've been so mad. Alright, what do we got here? Death orb... Unstable dust. Uh, I'll buy a health flask recharge. Ah, spooky game Muck has to play now. What? Did I say spooky game? Look, how would playing Cuphead hurt you? It's a spooky game. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, hold on a sec. Hold on. One sec. One sec. Okay. Cuphead is a game. It is actually like a Souls-like, okay? Meaning it's very, very challenging. However, this is actually a, 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 an awesome short story. This whole game was basically hand-drawn. And I think one guy made this game over the course of years in his free time. And it's supposed to look like, you know, old-timey animation. But it's an extremely challenging platformer, Souls-like level game. But it, it was received really, really well. Uh, it, it, it was received really well by gamers. Um, there was a funny story with it involving a journalist, but this is this is the game. But that's that's what we're talking about for anyone who wasn't on